Welcome back, everyone. Did you catch last episode? Izzy, Blaine, and I, we explored Fulford Harbor, and Izzy saved a bird that had flown right into the boat. I think Maggie chased it in. Hey, everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. So Janice has been asking me really nicely if we can get the washing machine working on the boat so we don't have to keep going off the boat to do the, the laundry. And when I say we, Janice doesn't have to keep going off the boat to do the laundry because <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's been doing that because she's got a little bit more time lately. And uh, uh, we now have a working washing machine. I've got the dryer working as well, um, but the uh, washing machine's working. It's just draining at the moment. You'll see later on that I don't get to keep the dryer. Uh, Blaine actually yeah. despises it and cuts it apart and, and removes it from the engine room. But that's for a later video. Today I'm doing something um, that I've been putting off for a while. And I've been putting it off for a very good reason. Um, I've been trying to kind of clean up all the different sections of a bilge. Um, aluminum doesn't really like standing water. Um, pH balances go off on the acidic side and it starts making corrosion pits in the aluminum and it'll just dig deeper and deeper and deeper until it goes right through. So I've done most of the bilges in the boat, but one that I haven't done yet. Um, here is, uh, this is in the guest head. So I've got to crawl in here. And as you can see, all down in there is gross. And it's been wet and it's been sitting. Uh, so what, uh, what you have to do with it is you get out all the existing water and then you take a mixture of water and baking soda. I usually mix a little bit of soap in there as well just because I'll be scrubbing. And when you put it into the bilge, it gets in and it, uh, it neutralizes the acids in the bilge so it'll, it'll halt any of that corrosion. Um, and you can see little bits of where that's happening everywhere there's like one of those little round white spots that's um, that's where the corrosion has started to to crevice its way in so I'm just gonna I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna scrub this all out so the water doesn't have a place to kind of sit and then I'm gonna flush the whole thing with this uh, solution of baking soda and water and um, give it a good scrub then I'll vacuum that out uh, and try to dry it out a bit in here Unfortunately, I can't keep it completely dry because we still haven't sorted out the uh, the holes under the rail up top. But at the very least, I can get rid of all the really nasty in here. Um, and uh, also need to get rid of all this copper in here at some point. That's not good having that get um, uh, rinsing ions down into the bilge for copper. Copper and aluminum, very bad. I'm going to see if I can give you an idea of this hole that I'm crawling into here. So this is behind the head here. Now you're in here with me. Flip you around. So now I get to scrub all this. Yay. So while Blaine was inside scrubbing, I was outside stripping. Okay, this is kind of cool. So I've been messing around with the paint trying to figure out how to get it off. So I thought I would put some paint stripper on here. And look at it. It looks so saggy. Look. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. But it didn't get into the filler. It just got all the paint off. Look at that. It almost looks like it's down to weird. Weird. Sharper scraper. I need to sharpen my scraper, is what I need to do. Look at it. 
So that last clip was the door coming onto the aft deck. I also put paint stripper on a gunnel. So I put paint stripper on this. I sharpened my scraper and this works much better. In my opinion though, the paint stripper was a fail. It did not even touch the Bondo. So I was back to the heat gun. This is how we're doing so far. I'm using a heat gun on this, but look how thick this is. I don't know if you can see this down. It is so thick and it's taking me quite a bit. And I think, I think I'm getting blisters, but that's okay. My goal is to finish the end of this today. But when you, the pud is really soft when you use a heat gun, but then it gets like, it's kind of fun. It's like really crispy. It's like chips, potato chips, which I love by the way. But yeah, so we are slowly taking this off. You can see I've got this part done first. I still will have to grind just a little bit, but it will create very little dust. And then I just heat gun this. But I gotta show you, I screwed up. When I did the uh, paint stripper, look, I took off some decals. I'm not gonna tell Blink, she'll get mad at me. But I think I'll have to get that one piece redone. Yeah, I have to get a razor blade and fix that. Oops. Oh well. Okay, back to it. So my hands are extremely sore doing this. Like I've got blisters, so I've got gloves now. Um, but there's a lot of Bondo on this boat. So I think the key thing is just do a little bit every day. But let me show you where I'm at. So this is where we're at. So I've got about half of this done, really thick Bondo. Look at all the chips of Bondo. But you know what? All that stuff is not dust and it's not in the water. So that's good. Guess what? There's this really bright thing in the sky that is burning my eyes. I don't know what it is but I think they call it the sun. <laughs> Actually, it's amazing when the sun comes out, how energized everybody feels. Like I got up in a shower, I got dressed, I have boat stuff I wanna do. I've got an appointment in town first that I gotta go to for my skin cancer. I'm going to get that checked out, but it is absolutely beautiful. And boats are moving and it's sunny. We might have to pull the sunglasses to it. Come on, summer. Maggie, how are you doing? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Maggie loves when there's sun. She just lays on the deck and watches the seals, checks everything out. Right, Megs? But it didn't take long before the sun disappeared and we were back to rain. Welcome to Victoria, British Columbia. <laughs> checkup time. That's what it is. Let's see uh, what the scoop is after using all that cream and what the doctor thinks of my nose and face and everything else. So that was a full body scan. Um, yeah, everything looking for bad moles. He has a little magnifying glass, just checks everything. Highly recommend it. There's two areas just on my right side um, that got some liquid nitrogen. Ow, that really hurts. But everything else is good. I don't have to come back to the skin doctor for one year, which I'm uh, very grateful for. He said my face and nose, everything looks good too. So Blaine and I will keep an eye on each other. Highly recommend um, everybody else to do that too. And uh, yeah, great news today. Okay, I broke the boat <laughs> and Blaine is pissed. So I was working on my laptop. I totally forgot the generator was running. And I know you're gonna say, well, how did you not hear the generator? I just kind of zoned it out. So I just totally forgot it was running and I charged the batteries to 94%. I'm only supposed to charge them to 80%. I knew we had overcharged them when everything turned off on the boat. Like TV, internet, everything shut down. So Lane is a little bit pissed and he is on his way out to figure out what's going on. Lights and stuff were still good, um, but we've lost all the AC part. So, yeah. So I broke, I broke everything. It's just so I overcharged the batteries. I kept the generator going. I totally disregarded it. Went to like no any four percent. Didn't overcharge the batteries. So what just happened? Charged them farther than what we normally charge them. And it all turned off. Yeah. So it, the battery management system tripped the trouble code to protect batteries to make sure they didn't overcharge. So it, it just turned off the main relay. So 
So it's actually it kind of good that it turned it off. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it protects the batteries. It keeps the batteries from... So I didn't really break anything. No. But I should set a timer next time I'm charging the generator. Sure. Yeah, it just did a rapid drift up, so it shut off on... Okay. Well, I feel much better. I was a little bit worried about that. Cause... And then we were phoning Blaine, and he was out road tuning, and I was fresh... Yeah. Not good. Yeah, bad timing. Bad timing. Sorry. And after the battery schmozzle, it was back to work. So the time has come for one of the larger projects that Janice and I have been uh, putting off for a while. I guess it's not a larger project, it's, it's not too bad. Um, we're going to start putting up ceilings in our master stateroom, which are well overdue. You know what's going to be cool? Keep at it! And after all the measuring, he had to take the panels back down to cut the holes for the lights. So these are little LED, ooh, it's really bright, things we're putting in. I got them from AliExpress, but they're great and they were in a very, very inexpensive. And Blaine is putting in his, very bright, in his little reading light there. And then mine already works. And then we're going to put another one in this corner because over here, which is the port side of the boat, is going to be my reading bench. You'll get to see that being built in a later episode. What am I doing? It is time to check out the swag and get it all organized for our Patreon channel. I think it's very important. We want to have, first of all, I want to deal with a local company. And second of all, I want a company that cares as much as I do. I want to make sure the product is awesome. I want the hoodies to be cozy. I want the t-shirts to fit perfectly. I want the printing to be pristine. And I just want the shipment to be fast. So we're out here at uh, Beacon Sign and Apparel. I spoke with Andrew yesterday. I'm quite excited to see um, what type of partnership this will be. So let's go. That was a huge success. I am so excited to see what they can offer. The t-shirts are so soft. Hoodies are so cozy. And wait till you see the beer koozies. We've got a couple options that we're working on. So yeah, so excited. It's a pretty wild morning out. Like this fog this winter. Go check it out. So the sun's coming up. It's early. I'm heading to Nanaimo today and plane's gonna work. So fog over here. Fog to the left of me, fog to, to the, the right. right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of a bay. And the fog got worse throughout the day. Pretty uh, cold and foggy out here on Tangaroa again. This is uh... Got the Brentwood Bay Ferry. Sounding their horn. It's just so wild when we wake up and it's totally socked in like this. Eerie and beautiful at the same time. It is so cold on the boat that like just cold and I think I've been cold for about a month now like not totally getting warm Izzy and I are going to Butterfly Gardens it is a tropical humid paradise and when you can't go south into the Caribbean or into the Polynesia or into Philippines wherever and get that that awesome heat we go to Butterfly Gardens here we go okay let's go in Ooh, it's nice and warm in here Oh, this heat is amazing. It's actually fogging up my lens. That's how heat and humid it is. I will change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, 
energy from the plant. Please consider others and only touch a few leaves. Stepped on by a bird. Yes. Have you not been stepped on by a bird before? I've held a parrot like a baby. I remember that. But... Yeah, but that was in Mexico. Yeah. This is exciting, eh? for watching everyone hit the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out and check out onboard tangroa on facebook and our website there's lots of cool stuff and you get the inside scoop on everything tangroa